April 20, 2016, the Lady Spikers and the Lady Tamaraus collide in a winner-take-all semi-showdown for the last seat in the finals. Having the twice-to-beat advantage in this series, LaSalle wasted several chances to punch its ticket to the championship round in Game 1 as a gritty FU squad came back from a 0-2 set deficit to force a deciding match. Never in recent history have the Lady Spikers faced such adversity in the Final Four, and it would be up to veterans Mika Reyes and Ara Gala to lead the team if they are to set another title clash with Ateneo for the fifth straight year. Let us now meet the starters. First for the FEU Lady Tamaraos. Number four, Heather Gino. Number 15, Che Malampanan. Number 16, Shen Matas. Number 2, Bernadette Pons. Team Captain number 9, Remy Palma. Number 14, Giselle C. Their libero number 11, Kyla Atienza. And the head coach of the Lady Tamarau, Shaq De Los Santos. And now, let us meet the Tennessee Lady Spikers. Number 10, Machoy Baron. Number 18, Sid De Mesilio. Number 11, Kim D. Team captain number 9, Kim Fajardo. Number 8, Aragala. Number 3, Mika Reyes. Their libero number 5, Don Macantili. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Romel De Jesus. It's Lockout Wednesday. Romel De Jesus sticking with his old starting six. And uh, si coach Shaq De Los Santos Saman, instead of starting Jeanette Villarreal, who uh, was the starting member of the starting six in uh, that last matchup, uh, chose to start with uh, Heather, Heather Ginoo, who uh, played uh. all four sets starting from the second all the way to the fifth. Para sa FEU, Jerry Lima Labanan, uh, Lumabas, uh, in favor of uh, their libero, si Kyla Atienza, who uh, will be heavily relied upon if, in case you're, you know, see uh, Kim Fajardo finds her attackers and uh, mabigyan ng bola talaga sila Mika Reyes, Sid Demisilio, Aragalang, so many others. Magpatrabaho siya right. today. And uh, you know, in that previous game, their last meeting, FEU won digs 102 to 83. So I really think malaking factor yun why they were able to win that game over La Salle. So they have to do that, do the same today. Makandili will do the setting honors. On the first play of DLSU, and they score the first point of the match. Aragala gets the La Salle crowd in a frenzy inside the Mall of Asia well, Arena. Expect na natin na magiging ito all throughout. Kim Fajardo, and we talked about how vital she, her effort uh, will be to distribute and to not be predictable, lucky break on an over reception by FEU catching Lasal unaware. Let's go to Janine Choi. Ergat Mozi, matapos matalo laban sa FEU, sinabi ng kapitan ng Kim Fajardo na hindi lamang masakit, pero sobrang sakit talaga dahil alam niyang hindi niya nabigay ang kanyang lahat ng, ng makakaya noong huling laban na yon. At sa ensayo naman nila kahapon, sinabi ni Kim naramdam niya yung bawi na gusto nilang itakita. Ibinahagi niya ng maganda ang aura dahil kaya ang nagangamay nila ay naroon pa rin ang composure. At tuwing nakikita ni Kim na inspirado ang kokonan, bilang setter at kapitana, sinabi niyang kakampi at tutulungan niya silang bumawi, Aaron at Mozi. Right, thank you, Jenny. Yeah, it was, it was a very emotional loss for uh, right. DLSU. Despite the fact that they weren't eliminated yet, I mean, it was a 
kind of uh, touching and surprising at the same time to see players like Mika Reyes take it so personally. Oh. Even, even though, you know, they hindi pa sila tanggal sa finals, they're just gonna have to beat FEU another time. Kailangan naman ganun, ano, when you, uh, let's say, lose a really big game, you have to remember it, eh, and you have to feel it. Kasi, pangit din naman yun yung pari, you just brush it off, and you know, just, sige, may isang game pa naman. But, mas maganda siguro, you feel the loss, and then, you, you, you ano, after that, kasi, may, ano yan, eh, may thinking yan after, yes. diba? Mikareyas with a service error uh, gives uh, FEU a point and they are within one. Let's go to Ganiel Krishnan. Eric and Mosey since 2009, the ladies fighters have been unbeatable by the Lady Tamarouse. And finally, last Sunday, the team made another history by Panalo on that game against Asad. Alam nyo, Eric and Mosey, one thing I have noticed after losing the first two sets, talaga naman nagsalita si Kochak na hindi sila pwedeng umuulahaan ng araw na yon. They proved everyone wrong with how they were able to get the third set. Now, going to this game, the team gained so much confidence. And you know, I was able to talk to Randy Palma. Sabi nga niya, kailangan daw makuha talaga nila ang game today dahil pangarap nila ang makalaban ng Ateneo sa finals. Boom and Mosey. All right, uh, thank you, Eugenio. Kita po si Bernadette Pons. Working hard right in front of Aragalang. The ball falls. And again, FEU is just within a point. We really expect this to be a close one. And uh, so, yeah, the mga nerves will really come into play. Because right now, people, let's say FEU now, very confident coming into this game. But winning that first one, may on two or die na, syempre nagkaroon din ng konting pressure yan. Diba? Nung, nung, siguro nung last game, lesser pressure for right. FEU. But now, syempre, ito na yun, di ba? And the fans are behind you, and, and people expect you to repeat the same feat. And, uh, kaya nga, tulad nga na sa ato Mosey, that's awesome pressure for these young girls. Anakalan connects, making it a three-point lead for DLSU here, 6-3 in the, the first set. That was from the back row. I like how Ara flicked her wrist. Wait for an angle. Look at that ball. Good reception there by Atienza. Here comes Pons. That is just long. But we're, this is not unfamiliar if you're watching FEU. I mean, this is how FEU really starts. Exactly. Very erroneous still in this first part of the first set. Yung mga atake ng FEU lumalabas. Another poor reception para sa FEU. Can't really get behind the ball on that one. Demesilio, palakas. Oh. Under the ball on that open hit. Medyo malayo sa net. And then just trying to go off speed. It's too much muscle on that one. If you're coach Shaq De Los Santos, you're going to want your girls to start off much better instead of having to catch up and be exactly. down by three, you know? Exactly. Kasi parang yung uh, last game, you know, medyo sinuerte rin sila doon na nakabalik sila. But you don't want that happening again today to rely on yung mga lock or right. yung, uh, let's say, yung letdown ng kabila, no? Ng opposite team. Yeah, Demisilio! Demisilio yes, getting it yes, off yes, from Blanco. Bernadette Bons, 8-4, LaSalle over FEU in the first set. One of the biggest storylines in the FEU win against LaSalle was the courage and uh, yung uh, takas na loob uh -huh. ni uh, Remy Palma, team captain ng Lady Tamaraus. That's correct, Eric. 18 points for her in that last game. 14 from Spikes and one block and three aces. As Demisilio with a second, or her second error here in the first set, given a free point to FEU. Ito na inaabangan ng marami. Remy Palma and Mika Reyes, nasa harapan na. <laughs> Nakakatawa, no? Parang uh, naging uh, side, uh, right, side show. show. Oh. Oh. A two-handed dump by Kim Fajardo. Pero sabi ni Kim, ako muna. And, uh, getting a point on that dump. With her back to the net, right. knowing exactly where to put the volleyball. <laughs> Despite being down by three, you see 
Alini Tamarao sprinting with confidence here. They're smiling. They're acting as if they deserve to be here. Like, and they've got a shot at moving to the next level and going up against Ateneo. Galang with an off speed. Basas with a tip. Bacantili saves it. The set for Galang. Block. Bacantili is right there. Demesillo back to Galang. Cut shot picked up by Ginoo. A tip by Palma. One hander by D. Galang. Another dig. C will set it up. Basas. Oh. What a rally. Good floor defense being shown by both teams. Pajardo goes to Galang against two blockers. Reyes blocked by Palma. Oh, what an exchange. Makandili to Galang. Through the block oh. and scores. Eight points. Oh, my. Finally, Galang scoring on that open hit. But it was a harder point, partner. Napakahirap na makamuha ng puntos dito sa match na to. What an exchange. And that sets the tone uh, of the defense ng parehong kopunan very early a service error by Kim Fajardo and also nakita mo yung sense of urgency din ng FEU and yung nagiging mindful na sila na hindi sila relax per set diba and, and very aggressive and very noisy inside moving around hirap talaga humabol yeah. katulad yung nangyari sa kanila Mo Arena packed with as many LaSalle and FEU fans is possible. Um, a service error then. Para kay Palma. Back to a four point lead for DLSU. Service error. FEU now with three and LaSalle with two. You know, picks it up. C. Oh. And. Basas puts it through two blockers. That's right, getting it through this time. Uh, Tony Basas challenging the blockers of Lasal. He's not going to get the blockers. So, Tony Pinadaan. Basas, it's been a, a bit up and down in Larunya in season 78, but more up than down. Yes, correct. But uh, they can't afford for her to fall flat today. Oh, what a save oh. by the Tamaraos. Good save. Pons. Demisilio. And you go to Galang. What an angle. Too wide, though. Oh. That's right. She wanted to avoid the blockers. Well, we don't have game palu ni Galang. But uh, why not that try? A few errors, Mosey. Mula sa laro ng Lasal. And uh, giving FEU some confidence to get back here. They are within two. Oh, but that's four service errors for FPU already, Mosey. That's four points plus four agad ang Lasal doon. Uh, Coach Shaq. Obviously. Hey, that's the uh, freebies yun in a game like this one. Hindi ka pwedeng nabibigay ka ng puntos. Without those errors, FPU would have been up by one point right now. And there is a service ace. Na napabayaan ni Atienza. Durentes will replace Atienza. As Libero, take a look at how the ball is I like how uh, si Aragala went to that corner. Ganda ng target niya. Reception not good from Basas. Kandili. I go to D. D is blocked by Pons. Back to D. Uh, the tip. Malabanan inangat. Here comes Basas. I go to Baron. Pons now with a push. Oh, good save there. Another the long rally here. Giselle C. Who does she go to? Pasas a little short. Pajardo. Baron. C is there. Durendes inangat. Pons papalo. And there's Galam to pick it up. Here comes Demisilio. Durendes. Pasas. That's a low set for Chin Pasas. Underhand set para kay Demisilio. Blocked by two. Oh, but Makandili. Back row, Galang. What a pickup by Gino. Here comes Pons. Fajardo. Demisilio in the middle. Block. Fajardo picks it up. No ball. Oh. This time, after a long rally, FEU comes out on top. Sorry, partner. Manunod na lang ako dito. Ha? You have to 
work doubly hard today because this is uh, beginning to be a really exciting game. And They're just in the first yeah. set, Bozy. And the exchange has been Grabe. furious and intense. In both credit both schools for floor defense starting this uh, match. Parang parehong ready, ready, no? Sumagot ng mga quick hits, in fact. D rejected. Two blocks for FEU. Demisilio. C chases after it. Goes to Pawn. Spawns. There's Makandili. Another long rally in the making. Demisilio. Block. Giselle at the net. That's right. See Demisilio also trying so hard. Even in the last game, in the previous game. In the beginning, palang, you can see her. Try to hit it hard, finally getting the point. Bawi si mga players para pang third set na. Parang matira pa din pa dito. Kalahati ba lang buta yung first set? What a spike and kill by Bernadette Bonds. As an off the block point from Bonds. Mahababa tayo. Bakit siguro ano mapapagod tayo dito kahit tayo? But despite all the effort and that great back and forth, Mozi, tatlo pa rin na may maintain ang lasal ang kalabangan nila. Oh, what a kick! Oh. That's good! That's right! Hindi <laughs> po football to, volleyball pa rin. Makandili with a great move. Here comes Pons on the other oh. side. Palakas! Oh. Credit that point to Makandili! Yeah. Ganda na reflex, actually. Take another look. Look at that. What a great move, Don Makandili. Hindi lang sa kamay, pati sa paa kaya kumuha ng bola na. Maganda yung libero nga. Kailangan flexible ka. Yung reaction mo. Kasi kailangan, again, mindful ka. Buong katawan mo pwede mong gamitin. Kahit i-heading mo yan, diba? And that is in stark contrast to the rules before. Actually, four arms mo lang. Pag tumaba nga sa bicep area mo, double error sa chest mo. Automatic point. Or ano na yun? Dead ball. Still a three-point lead for Lasalle here. 15-12. There's Demisilio. Picked up by Pons. C. Back set. Mababa para kay Palma. She just pushes it. Fajardo. Demisilio. Gets it through the block. Pons is right there. The chase. Oh. Nina Uha on the second touch by FEU. That's right. Nobody there for the second ball. Lead up to four. Uh, matches the biggest of La Salle. 16-12. Set number one. That's uh, Vice Ganda, big fan of the Tamaraus. Uh, supporting her alma mater, of course. Yep. Malamang gusto na rin yan maglaro. Pwede lang eh. We're back here at the Ball of Asia Arena, venue kung saan nakatikim ng unang talo ang Lasal against FEU in 16 games. Remy Palma, one of the you know key players para sa FEU in that game, and she will try to eliminate Lasal here, who came to the final four matchup against FEU with a twice to beat advantage, but nawala nang ayon after that loss last Saturday. Ginoo. Demisilio picks it up, underhand set para kay Galang, she had to readjust and just tip it across the net. Here's Palma. Reyes with a dunk, and she scores! Okay, Reyes doing her own version and getting the point. Take a look at the move. Mika Reyes in between the blockers. Coach Shaq calling a timeout will listen in to FEU. Coach Shaq De Los Santos 
Nasa sabihan si Giselle, si Mike Sit yung uh, running mo. Tamaan mo para makapag down the line si Remy Palma, no? Tama, kasi pag Mike Sit, mas madali for the blockers to adjust. That's why kanina nga dun sa kaya hulog na lang ang ginawa ni Remy Palma. They were ready to uh, three blockers in front of her. Demisilio serving. C. It's going to be a long chase for us. FPU, but they're going to have to start there. Five point lead down to four para sa Lasal with a ready palma point. Yan yung sinasabi ni Coach Shaq. Well, kailangan na mahaba yun at layo ni Giselle C. But uh, she still went for the chronic set. Oh, what an intelligent, smart tip by Pajardo. Pero nandu doon si Duremdes to pick it up. Reyes pushes. C will set it up. Palma, what a save by Demisilio. Blocked there by Ginoo. Here comes Galang. Joust at the net. And Galang yeah, touches the net. Violation against Lasal. Net violation called against uh, the late Spikers. Nahuli ni Torremdes yung top ball ni Kim Fajardo. What a serve by C. Galang through. Oh, Galang. But Galang loving that uh, very high set coming from him. Galang nga masyado nang ready na yung blockers eh. Masyado mataas but uh, Galang responding with a point. Back to a four-point lead for the Lady Spikers. Giselle C sets it up for Basas, gets the tape of the net. But it uh, bounces wide. So it's another five point lead for the Lady Spikers. And to Coach Shaq, he knew Busayo Kanyan timeout here in the first set, calls another one right here, his final one. Uh, let's listen in. Maganda receive. Patras in Busayano. Bakot Kading. Pagdiga sa Rumisiba. I am playing. Bakot Sideng running Kading on Sanani. Okay. Tapos pagano dulo mo. Okay, Chin. Okay, pagano discard lang. Okay? Sige, kaya ba yan? Napakalayo pa niya. Abitan lang natin, ha. Hindi tayo pwedeng tuloy, ha. Let's enjoy, enjoy. Focus tayo. Balik tayo sa focus natin. Ano yung goal na? Game plan, game plan, ha? Okay, let's go. Tama na. No matter the effort and uh run ng FPU Mozi, Lasala has always found a way to stay on top. Uh, you're looking at Ian Lariba, uh, first Filipino Olympian in uh, table tennis sa Rio Olympics. Good luck. Wow. She's from uh, DLSU. Rio Olympics talaga. Right. Sarap naman yan. Good luck and uh, congratulations. Yeah. On a, what an achievement. Fajardo a serving and ace. she gets an ace to make it. Lasal's biggest lead right now, Mosey, at six points, 2014. That's right. At a very crucial point in the first set, FEU failing to receive. C sets it up. Pasas. Demisilio. Great defense by Sid Demisilio in this first set. Galang. Oh, oh what a spike. And Galang. And what was deceiving was Galang was facing yes, exactly. cross court and you palo niya down the line. Take a look at where she was facing it, where she sent the ball. Kaya lito lito yung blockers ng FU. Biggest needed seven points for DLSU. C. Back set Palma. Pajardo picks it up. Makandili with the underhand set for Kim D who scores. That's right. Another off the block point. Kim D scoring. And right now, Lasal trying to run away with set number one, Moji. Remember, in the first match, nila, si Kim Lee talaga yung bobok po ng first two sets, di ba? Lalo na the first set. Free ball for the Lady Spikers. D again. And yes, she yeah. scores. Yeah. Making it a 23-14. Nine-point lead for Lasal. FBU looking a little disoriented right now as uh, Kim Fajardo gets ready to serve. Just two points away from winning set number one. C. Could oh. not connect oh, with Palma. And 
that costly error Mosi puts uh, La Sala at set point. You know, partner, there's just too many errors coming from the side of the lane in this first set. That's why now La Sala now has a 10-point lead. Fajardo, a serve, went long. And ito na ang Lasal getting a free ball. Oh, but Kim D lands straight oh, on the net. Violation against Lasal. An inadvertent save set point para sa FEU. Palmas swings to the back. She will be a back row player now para sa FEU. 15 serving 24 set number one. Reyes, C picks it up. The set by Pons to Basas. Basas picked up by Fajardo. Kim D. Malabanan to Basas. What an angle. Nakandili will set it up for D again. And D completes the first set of Basas and That's right, and Kim D towards the end of this set. Four ring in for De La Salle. Ang uh, FEU naman, just so erroneous in this first set. A lot of service errors, a lot of uh, unforced errors, generally for uh, the Lady Tanks. Aragalang, uh, six points leading the way for DLSU as they beat FEU in the first set, 25-15. After an extremely close first part of the first set where both teams are neck and neck and marked by extremely long rallies, La Salle pulls away and wins 25-15 over FEU in the first set. Well, look at that first errors. They, it's the same, but it was more, uh, so, uh, 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 it was more heavy for FEU committing to all those mistakes because La Salle was also able to have 15 attack points over their only six attack points in that match. So, yung kumbaga, hindi rin nila na-limit yung errors nila para at least medyo matutralize man lang nila yung uh, attacks na nagagaling sa La Salle. Although they had uh, one block point, but La Salle, again, two aces in that uh, first set. Dump here by Palma as FEU draws first blood in the first set. Palma with her fourth point in the game leads the way para sa Lady Tamaraus. Kim D, who scored the final three points of La Salle in the first set, has four after coming up with 20 points in the last meeting. Ganda nga na, eh. 20 points for Kim D, but uh, C, Bernadette points also answering with 22 points right. naman on the FEU side. That first point ng La Salle off a net violation in Remy Balma. Take a look there. Touch on the net or at the net. One all, set number two. Basas over the block. D picks it up, underhand set. Fajardo, here comes Galang with an off speed. Duremde sets it up for Basas. That hits the tape of the net. And the sport touches MBU as we go to Ganiel Krishnan. You know, Eric and Mosey, the team had a session with Sir Ed Garcia last Wednesday and like tapping at Sister Ed Garcia on how to win this game emotionally. Sabi niya nga, they just have to win with them themselves and always know na mayroon silang supporters. Alam niyo, boom, uh, Eric and Mosey, nagsalita nga ito si Sir Ed Garcia. Sabi niya, um, talaga nakatulong daw sa Lilita sa so last Sunday with all the families and their supporters cheering for them. Kahit na natalo sila the first two sets ng niya, it somehow boosts their confidence. Alam niyo kung sa FU Mess Basketball team niya ay may be Brave 16. Sir Ed Garcia called the girls Brave Hearts 14. Last he said, let's win this game and play with our hearts. Eric and Mosey. Right, thank you uh, again. Well, as, as uh, emotional as it was for uh, FU, it didn't seem like it. Uh, in fact, si... Uh, Coach uh, Ramil De Jesus nga salita para sa Lasal. He was saying, as you see, Pons with a tip from the back row. Sabi niya, it was not so much a physical game for us. It was emotional yeah. for, for Lasal. So it's surprising to hear that FPU, I guess it, they got affected because of the support ng fans. So that's sabi ni Gan, no? That's uh, right. And even now, I think that this game is, again, an emotional game for uh, the two teams. Kasi nga, wala na, do or die, di ba? And I'm sure both teams working hard coming into this match. Basas with a tip. 
Vigareas. There is a net violation on the LSU, though. Coach Shaq asking already for a double hit. Parang double, okay. Ah. But they let it go because they did get the point anyway. Oh, that was the... Top to uh, safe at that angle. Oh, now we see Soyud coming in for Mika Reyes. That's right. Ito na. Eh, ako, yan ang in-expect ko in today's match. Yung maraming chess match na mangyari between these two coaches. Soyud didn't see action for Lasal in their last game, by the way. Yeah. Let's go to Janine Choi. Uh, can Modi, despite the heaviness from their previous game, Mika Reyes chooses to be positive by shutting out everything that is negative. Today's a new day and she's looking at the bright side, especially with her twice to be advantage. She's very much looking forward to today's game because she wants to be able to execute their new learnings and adjustments. In fact, minimizing their errors is one of the main priorities of the team. Coming into this set, the girls were told to continue playing smart defense. That's all for now, Eric and Mosey. All right, thank you, Janine. Vigareas coming back and replacing uh, Christine Soyuz, who was in the, in the match for all of 30 seconds. Oh, and uh, I think she threw in my instructions on the, the Minigake Mikareyes. And uh, now she's on the line to serve. There's Kim D, top scorer para Salasal in their last uh, game. It's the FEU, Bernadette Pons. Reception error. Uh, Lasal within one now, four, five. Malamang yun yung instruction. Targahan mo serve, dali mo kay Pons. Let's see if uh, Migareas goes back to Pons. Pero sa loob para sa FEU is Duremdes. Uh, yeah, they go back to Pons. Pons picks it up better though. Malabanan! Scores! Jeremy yeah, Malabana on, on the quick hit. Medyo late lang yung blockers na Lasal. See this once again. Jerry Lee Malabana is a tall, talented, athletic player that yep. FEU can really take advantage of pag nasa harapan, ano? Tama. Six serving four, Chin Pasas. FEU protecting a two-point lead here. Fajardo sets it for D. D is wide. Point oh. FEU. Well, that was a very sharp angle from uh, D. And well, Coach well, Romain De Jesus, a point well, away well. from uh, the technical timeout. The game ball up. The game ball up. The His first time out at 7-4 in set number two. Alam mo, mapapaisip ka rin. At ang mapapaisip dyan, pati FU kasama sa, di ba? Right. Mapapaisip. Ito na, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. Yan yung mga mind game na, obviously, it will all come out today for these two squads. And actually, uh, to the media, sinabi ni Coach Shaq de Los Santos na he admires the uh, the strategic mind ni Ramil de Jesus. He's a very good coach, siya, ang sinabi ni Coach Shaq. So, and he looks forward to the meeting of minds today. Oh. As D scores para sa DLSU. And in that last time out, exactly si Dia ang kinausap uh, ni Coach Ramil and look at the responding right away and uh, getting a point of the time out. Five serving seven, Aragala. C, Pons in the middle. Duremdes picks it up. They go to Ginoo. Oh. Just long. Oh. Coach Shaq doesn't like the call. Wants to argue, but he backs off. Try to look at this hit once again. Oh, na takpa ng ulo ni Dia. Dia di pa kita pero poetic justice, maybe. Oh yes, yeah. you see Aragada with a service error. 8-6, FEU takes us to the first technical timeout of set number two. Here's the Heather Ginoo attack from a different angle. Ooh, that thing is oh. on the line. That was called out, by the way, by our Lions judge. So, Coach Shaq, when Kanina pinabanggit natin, uh, he backed off a potential complaint. Oh. And nakita niya ngayon, and uh, he... He wishes. 
but uh, that he could have pushed that further. Pero there's very slim chance that you can overturn a call, yeah. obviously, yeah. regardless yeah. of. You uh, first referee lang natin, pwede pwede mag over right. So uh, he did not. Oh, that's uh, water under the bridge yep. now. FEU up by two. Free ball. Para sa Tamaraus. C. Back set points. Oh, and there you go. When you give FEU a free ball, yeah, they went for a combination play and uh, points nailing this one. Lockers were there, but he was there, no? Kita kita mo para there's that triangular space in between for points to send the ball through. Well, we see Tiamson now coming in for Coach Ramil De Jesus. Ito yung kabalik taran na nono ng yari dun yeah. sa first game nila. Ngayon, uh, maaga pa nakikita natin yung mga substitutions from La Salle. And there's a point by Baron. Tin Tiamson didn't score any point. They actually didn't even see any action. Right. In that La Salle lost to FEU. Baron coming off a 13-point performance. Right, and that, not a very powerful hit, but well placed. Seven serving nine. Good reception by Ginoo. Here comes Ponce again. Aragala was right there, but could not control the ball. Right, Bernard and Ponce. Ito, nag-iinit na, nagsisimula na. Ponce with five points in the game. And it's... Epi used Turk Mosey to protect a three-point lead. Malabanan just in her second year playing for FEU. Fajardo will set it up. Mistimed and uh, miss, miss set para kay Paron. Yamzon blocked. Kept nice. alive by Galang. Still playable. Palma mistimed it but got it across the net. They go back to Tiamzon. Oh, and Yamson gets it to go. Going down the line. And these are the bonus points that will really be a big, a big boost to both squads. Ano? Like for La Salle, si Yamson scoring one. Yung mga maliliit yan na bagay, pero in the end, it will really count a lot. Baron serving. Oh, and Baron with an ace. Just like that, that three-point lead almost erased. La Salle is within one. Very nice serve. Sharp na siya, tapos kargado pa, bumagsak. A little delaying tactic there by Baron after the uh, whistle by the first referee. Bons on the tail end of a combination. And she is blocked. LaSalle completes the comeback, Bozi. And this time, LaSalle reading the combination well of FEU, putting up a three-man block and getting the point. Deadlock at 10, set two. First deadlock of the match. Palma. The sets are the how Palma would like them here in set number two as Tamzon overhits. And you're wondering now, how can Kyle get si, uh, And there, the coach is going to As you said, Negrito and uh, Giselle C. It, it was crucial in that very, first meeting, Mozi. Very crucial, partner. Ang ganda ng timing right. ni Coach Shaq sa palitan ng setters niya. Maganda yung timing pagpasok ni Negrito. Maganda rin timing pagpasok yes, ni C. Yes, correct. Kung kailan babalik right. si C. Ganda. C. What a save there by Makandiri. Oh, oh a net violation <laughs> by Mika Reyes. Well, uh, Mika Reyes going uh, straight into the net. Napabroad jump kasi siya eh. <laughs> Take a look. Yung kamay niya pagbaba after this fake. Sumabit. Oo. Oh, oh. Sometimes you, you fake even yourself, ano? Na sobrang gusto niyang ma-attract yung depensa, hinabaan niya yung pag-reach, touching the net. Two-point lead FEU after a quick tie by La Salle. There is uh, Tiamzon. FEU looking to make it a three-point lead, pero Basas mistimed it. There, there's a certain amount of mistimed yes. hits in the second set, Mozi. Well, uh, si Basas committed already. Went for the approach. Wala pa yung bola ni Giselle. So, totally mistiming that one. After a two-point run, uh, Tigil on FEU and La Salle within one here. Sid Demesillo serving 
See underhand set, Basas. That is oh. wide. We're tied oh. at 12 again. Chin Basas throwing that away. Not enough spin on that ball. Second deadlock of the set and of the match. Lasal winning the first set, 25-15. See back set Palma. Hinabaan pero ando don si Mika Reyes for the block. Yes. That's right. Abang na abang na yung uh, running hit ni Remy Palma. That's a three-point run by Lasal. Uh, they lead by one now, 13-12, after trailing by as much as three. Nabubuhayan ng Lasal fans dito sa Mo Arena. Underhand set, back set para kay Pons. Pajardo, Kalang. C, back to Pasas. Oh. And that's not coming back. Point, FEU. And there you go, Pasas, killing that one. Chelsea, look at that set. Parang uh, saktong-sakto eh. Diba yung namada kay Basas. As now we see Luna coming in for uh, Galang. Ito na yung palit. Ngayon naman, balik na na lang. Coach Ramil, ang dami na nga. Palit-palit dito sa second set. May Luna, who uh, saw a bit of action in the fourth set para sa Lasal. Oh, wala pang whistle. Swerte si Giselle daw because that loaded out. 13 all. Oh, it's a nice. Kahit pa, Mozi. Oh, and uh, Giselle C. Gets an ace here. Gets an ace. After our third deadlock, balik na naman ang kalabangan sa FEU. 14-13. Fajardo. There's Luna rejected on her first attempt. Luna tries again. Off speed, blocked again. Luna, third try. C, back set. Gino oh. gets the oh. back of the line. Oh. That's right, Heather Gino taking the long route, getting the corner. So after a three point run by DLSU, FEU answers back with a two point run, and they have a two point lead 15 13. Pero ito si Galang, binalik na rin ulit. <laughs> Just a furious amount of shuffling ni uh, uh, Coach Ramil de Jesus. Pinapaisip ba niya <laughs> si uh, Coach Sa? Oh, what a move! Oh. That was an over-reception by Pibesillo. Naayos na lang ni Kim Pajardo yung pagpagsak ng bola doon. Trash the goal. Take a look, that would have been a free ball. Na mapapatay sana ni Basas, who was right there. Pero na-redirect ni Pajardo eh. 14, serving 15. Good reception by Ginoo. Back set, Basas. Oh, that's too low. That's right, Chief Basas. Uh, well, uh, committing a bit of... Uh, a, a few attack errors in this set right. already. So, Lasal with two quick points. Answering right back, and this is... The fourth deadlock of the set and of the match. Back row, Bonds. The Messinho, Inuha. Back set, underhand, Pajardo. Oh, and there is Aragala oh, giving the lead. There you go, Aragala from that open hit. 16-15, Lasal leading FEU in the second set. with her seventh point of the match. And gives the LSU fans a chance to cheer as Lasal is up by one, 16-15, and up one set to nothing against FEU. Pons and Palma have uh, five each para sa Lady Tamaraus. Well, in that last play, wala kahit isang blocker na nagaling sa Lady Tams, which is really not a good sign. Hindi pwede na nawawala ng blocker ang spikers ng De La Sal. Ginoo, through the block, Mozi. And uh, credit Ginoo, uh, challenging the two tall blockers, Kim D and Amika Reyes in that last play. And saradong saradong yun, wala butas dun sa block na yun. 16 all, fifth deadlock of the match. 
Good serve by Palma. That's going to be a free ball for FU. Let's see what they do. Malabanan blocked at the net. C takes a look behind her, finds Pasas. Fajardo, Makadili will set it up for D. D, oh, what a nice play Yay. for Kim D. That's right, just over the blockers of FEU. Nobody there for support on the side of the Lady Tabs. And Kim D is just blossoming into a very talented oh, yeah. attacker. I can, I, can, I can just imagine her next year. <laughs> La Luna. Right. So La Sal up by one, 17 serving 16. Here's Pasas through the block and right at Mika Reyes' chest. Make it 17 all. Take a look. Getting it through and bounce off it. It's Another close set, but much closer than the first set, Mosey, oh, when yeah. Iniwan and Ang FEU at 15. Oh. Oh, midway, Iniwan na. Oh, what a difficult angle. Dina Duman Santena yon, which should have happened to make that ball uh, playable. Yes. Masyado na, mahirap na yung angle. Parang nasa kabila na eh, kabilang court na eh. Pag nabasok na yung game na yun, sige partner. Parang parang Efren Reyes, konting spin lang yun eh, di ba? Time out dito, we'll uh, listen to Lasal. Pigilin na natin yung service na parang. That's the final timeout of Coach Ramil. Isa lang ang labang na FU, but he burned it just to get his his girls in in proper mind in the proper mindset. 18 serving 17, Chin Basas. She's coming off a 17 point output in the win over La Salle. But there is a spread in eh, yes. uh, FEU, the points. In the uh, last game. Ooh. Oh, and uh, Joy, Joy Baron, they're asking isa, pa, no? for a check. Oh, but wait a minute, they get the call that they want. Check one. Try to take a look at that again. Medyo nag-iba yung angulo ng bola. Yeah. There's a check. Kita-kita kay Pons. Uh -oh. But it was surprising that Baron, in mid-air, had second thoughts about how she was going to hit the ball. Pons, kumawin dito, putting FEU right back on top. That's right. Alam mo, today, it's really going to be a matter of execution. Kung sini, ay, di ba, lahat ng game plan na siya na, lahat ng scouting report na siya na, but, you know, you, in the end, it's going to be who will execute better. Right now, both teams are at par. I can't say if FU is executing better or Lasales. That's off the line. Makandili let it go. And two point lead para sa FU. Yeah, uh, look at Coach Shaq reminding. Dal mahaba na yun eh. Mahaba yung uh, serve ni Kino. Kino mo kasi Kino, ano doon na sa dulo ngayon. Doon dikit na kung pwede na lumampas pa yun sa barrier. Pumunta ka siya. Nasa mall na siya. <laughs> Another oh, good serve nice. by Heather Kino, back-to-back aces to give FEU a little bit of a breathing room here, 21-18. Nagkaagawan doon si Don Makandili and uh, si Ara Gala. And ang masakit dito, Mosey, as you see that ace, wala nang timeout si, si Coach, Coach Ramil. He can't call to halt this run by FEU. Oh, Makandili, what a great save. If it makes it, it's going to be a free ball, but it doesn't. And Coach Romil, I'm looking at him, yep. he's spacing. Well, he I wants to call a timeout, but he can't. He wants to ice the server, but pero wala nang timeout. Right. There's, not, there's no technical timeout na rin, <laughs> diba? Wala na. Oh, and Gino oh. threw away a serve there, but oh, she, she already did the damage, Mosey. Right, and now FEU, they just have to hold on to the lead and uh, score three more to take the set, although 
ELS now to serve. Joanne Jonella comes in for Heather Ginoa para sa FEU. Kim D serving. 19-22 oh. and she oh. throws oh. it away. That's right. I was going to say pa naman na itong Lasal medyo maingat sa service nila in this match so far. Just because you thought about it, nagkabali ito yun. Grabe naman, thought lang! Ang lakas naman sobra. Two points away, Mosey, FEU, to tie it at one set all. Malapanan, good serve. Pajardo sets it up. Goes to Demisilio. Janela was right there. Palma malakas! Oh, that's playable. Si Majoy Baro was able to touch it. What a save by Janela. Free ball for Lasal, Pardo, Demesillo. Oh, and there you go, Demesillo once again, getting it through the blockers. Nauna yung blockers ng FEU. Papaba na sila nung uh, Demesillo got to this ball. That's why uh, Demesillo able to get penetrate the blockers. Get it through. Still a tall order for Lasal. They need three to tie. FEU needs two to win. Negrito is in the game for the first time and sets it wrong para kay Palma and Negrito will be pulled right back out. Babalik si Giselle C. Wala pa sa timing. Diba si Negrito? So, FEU just up by two more, uh, two points. But in the latter portion of the second set, Lasal up by a set already. The lead was four points, Mosey. Nahahati na yun ang Lasal ngayon. Oh, poor reception by Durendez. Oh, and Lasal almost completing the comeback here. And I'm not going to shock na na pa timeout. Three point run by DLSU. Pahinga natin ang Lady Tamaraus. Okay, I'm going to put in a kamai. 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 Focus lang tayo sa isang puto sa maganda. Ayaw natin ito, ha? Diwala lang, diwala lang. Cover lang lang. Isipo na. Isipo na maganda. Well, nothing much there. Paalala lang. Ni Coach Shaq sa kanyang mga players. Take a look at the fans here. Young and old in attendance sa Mall of Asia Arena, Pasay City. Four point lead para sa FEU. Almost gone, Mosey. Yes. Isa na lamang. Ang lamang ka ng FEU. Sorry of the serves. Dito sa set number two, FEU. Five service aces na DLSU with three. Better reception by Atienza. Yun yung hiningi. Ni Coach Shaq. Pons with a tip. Mika Reyes tips it. Also, Atienza picks it up. They go back to Pons against two blockers. Blocked. C to the other side. Palma blocked as well, but it's no. A DLSU point already. Four point run for La Salle, and we're tied at 23. That is right, partner. China got ang La Salle to inuti unte as let's see that save. Bukod to mama naman sa floor, so kasi yung save tayo kailangan na entire board ng sa kamay. Right. So 23 all on the serve of Majoy Baron para sa DLSU. What a comeback by DLSU. That's a five point run by the Lady Spiders, and they are now at set point. Final time out to Coach Shaq. Puntahan natin ang Lady Tamaraus. Makine, kaya pa yan, kaya pa yan. Mas magdiwala lang muna. Kailangan mag-focus muna tayo. Isang maganda receive. Attack tayo, Coach Cover. Okay? Kaya lang, kaya. Isip muna maganda. Okay? D. Tumala lang, okay? Kumpiyansa, kumpiyansa, ha? Sige, sige. Labas mo yung best mo, ha? Kaya na, kaya na. 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 Coach Shaq just trying to build the confidence of the Lady Tamaraus. Because right now, for sure, they're feeling a little down after losing their four-point lead. And really trying to take out the pressure on the girls. While Majoy Paron working well with pressure. Still there at the service line. Reception is good. Pons. Oh. She ties it at 24. What an answer by the Tabaraos after that five point run by Lasal. Sabi nga ni coach, ni Wala lang. And uh, Michelle C. 
setting it to Pons, and Pons with an angle gets the point. So we got an extended set number two. 24 all. Si Pons serving. Pajardo will set it up for Demesilio. Blocked by Basas. They go back to Sid. Blocked again. Nowhere to go for Demesilio. Pajardo goes back to Demesilio and blocked again. And what an effort by Jim Basas. Oh my goodness. Yes, our defense par excellence, de ba? Di bumitao tatlo beses and finally getting a point with the tip back of Basas. Now FBU with their first set point of the match, 25-24. Pajardo, Mika Reyes gets it through, Palma, and we're tied at 25. Mika Reyes, look at their goal, just so confident in that last play. Getting it, touching the hands of uh, Remy Palma. On me, sabi ni Remy Palma. On me. Demisilio serving, good reception. Palma, babawe, pero no, that didn't cross the net. That's going to be four touches. Against oh, FBU yes. and LaSalle on their second set point. Emicilio on the line trying to get two sets. He has a DLSU. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Sid Demicilio is fired up and so are the LaSalle fans as they steal set number two away. Courtesy of a five-point run late in the set, Mosey. You know, that was really a close call for the Lady Spikers. But in the end, the services nila really uh, got them this second set. Two sets to nothing. La Salle over FEU. The Lady Tamaraus had it at, uh, on their fingertips. Mm -hmm. Mosey late in the first, uh, late in the second set and had a set point at uh, one point in set number two, but LaSalle, what a comeback to take a two sets to nothing lead. Yes, and uh, in the end, LaSalle really wanted it so much that uh, in spite of the 12 attack points of uh, against the nine only of the LaSalle, LaSalle won that over FEU and getting a two set lead in this match. DLSU having three blocks against so a one only for FEU service. Pinatay nila towards the end. No una lamang na lamang na sa service points sa, sa aces sa FEU pero in the end, match ay parang ano ba yun? Two three aces in uh, that last uh, surge by uh, uh, by DLSU. FEU having ten errors. I think marami dito sa dulo din eh, no? Against the seven of uh, the Lady Spikers. And as we kick off set number three, a do or die set para sa FEU. Let's remember that at one point during the serving spree, <laughs> the Heather Gino, Coach Ramil De Jesus had no more time oh, out. Oh, eh. Nakikita na nga natin, parang gusto niya na mento din eh. Pero nag-taste din siya, nag-chaga. And what you like about the, that in that situation, ito nga, players niya ang nag-adjust. By themselves, sila lang dun sa loob, they adjusted and then they made sure na lumaban sila hanggang dun sa dulo. And yun, patience. With patience, they were able to win it. Let's go to Daniel Krishnan. Pagpasok ng third set, sabi ni Coach Shaq, focus lang tayo at enjoy tayo sa laro. During the timeout, he has been telling Pons to try to collect yourself. And sabi niya nga, same with Basas and Palma. Sabi niya nga, wala naman daw mali sa ginagawa ni Pons. Kailangan lang daw talaga ipakita niya ang kanyang 100%. Dagdag pa nga niya, huwag na daw tayo mag-anga sa loob ng court. At ipakita na lang natin na kaya nating manalo. Eric and Muzi. All right, thank you, Gan. Uh, seven points for Pons. Five for Palma, Ginoo, and Basas para sa FEU. And it seems like Lady Tamara Osmosi, they, they like the same route, the same way uh, in the uh, last na laban nila against LaSalle. Because La they, not to say that they gave LaSalle the first two sets, but they're going to have to work from two sets down if they want to win, just like how they did it in uh, the last game. Not an easy thing to do. And uh, Mika Reyes getting another point of a solid hit. Two all, set number three. Mika Reyes, that's her eighth point. She leads the way now. Para sa La Salle, followed by Galang with seven, Kim D with six, Baron and Demisilio with five each. 
So it's becoming a complete team effort for De La Salle, especially on offense. More about La Salle. Let's check in with Janine Choi. I don't want this to be the last game I play with my seniors. This is what Kiannadi told me earlier before the game started. She does not want the seniors of the team to exit the UAAP in a way that is not in favor for La Salle. And because it's a knockout game, Kiana knows how heavy and important today's game is. That is why she promised herself that no matter what happens, she will play more than her 100% and give all that she can. And also because FEU's defense is strong, they need to play smarter and also show consistency at the service line. Eric and Mosey. All right, thank you, Janine. What a firm resolve by Kim D. Na, hindi ako papayag itong last game go with my graduating players. As Kala gets her eighth point of the game and gives LaSalle a two-point lead. That's right, coming from an off-speed hit. Look at Gala, well-placed shot. Bitin na bitin eh for the defenders on the other side. Four serving two. An ace by Reyes makes it a three-point lead for the Lady Spikers. That's right. Five to two is our score. And since the end of the second set, Mosey, this service reception para sa FU has been suspect. Uh, Rocky siya, lalo na dun sa dalawang corners, Eric, and I think yun yung uh, target ng uh, Lasal. Hey. Oh, and Bernadette Paul is throwing that attack away. Yun yung pang, uh, pang panalo ng second set was a service ace para sa Lasal. As uh, FU calls a timeout, we'll check in. Magkita mo na, galaw tayo kung sure to Okay? Hindi tayo nagbabasay. Kasi muna, hindi kahit anong gawin natin, magbaspike ka natin sa harap, wala tayong isip, hindi na makakapag-combination. Okay? Sagay lang. Di, sagay mo lang, tapos enjoy mo lang yung ginagawa mo kasi mas mahirapan ka, hindi ka makakapag-discard niya. Okay? Sige, isip muna maganda, attack tayo, combination, tapos go-go tayo. Okay? Okay, boss. Tapos pag kumalo tayo, bilisan niyo yung wrist natin, ang bagal eh, kaya yung mag-sign. Bilisan natin. Sige, sige. Sige, tala, tala. Let's go! Coach Shaq pointing out the obvious. No, di tayo receive, di tayo makakaatak. And uh, that's been the problem. Matatanda natin, Mosey, na uh, mas maganda yung uh, set two nilid ng FU in terms of attacks. Mas tiket. But uh, they can't get it, you know, here at the start of set number three because okay. of these reception errors. That's right. And kumbaga patay ka agad eh. Dal reception. And burn the dead point. That's the tenth point of Mika Reyes. And just as we pointed out, yun naman, hindi na talaga hinawakan. Oh. Pinabayaan na lang yun. So, mas kasi, mas hindi masarap sa pakiramdam. Eh, ganun lang nakukuha yung uh, point. Parang ang dali-dali. So, FEU, kailangan yun, maging uh, double time sila pagdating sa reception. What a kill! By Paron! We get to the technical timeout of the third set. What a lead para sa La Salle. 8-2 here in the third set. Here's the block by Baron and on an over-receive. Uh, on the dig by Gino, Baron puts it away and makes it a six-point advantage for the Lady Spikers, Mosey. That's right, and uh, Baron again, being patient, staying on with the, the play. To able to get it through the diff. So many instrumental players for La Salle today. Everybody's stepping up. Right, uh, both in defense and offense. Basas, sumagot. Mas consistent yung blocking ng La Salle talaga uh, from the start. FEU, yun ang kulang sa kanila. Hindi masyadong consistent pagdating sa blocking. Three serving eight. It's a long way to go. Get back into the set para sa FU. This is the biggest deficit for them. And one step forward, one step right. back. And uh, an another error. Ganto yung first set nila eh. Let's start with a lot of errors. Back to a six point lead for the Lady Spikers. Nine serving three. Pajardo to Baron. Durendes picks it up, C. Malabana and Makandili is right there. Here comes De Mesilio. Blocked! And De Pe that was well read by FEU. De Mesilio. Ah, 
just trying to get it through, but uh, Malabanan going for an offensive block. And just after you mentioned it, Mosey, the defense of FU stepping up naman. Gino, responsible for that four-point run ng uh, FPU late in the second set. What a dump or a push there by Kim D. Napapansin ko medyo malayo yung uh, suborda after the block dito sa FEU. So Kim D scoring another one by just uh, that push. Well placed hit, well placed shot. Good serve. Oh, these aces from La Salle really hurting FEU now, Mozi. And they've been targeting this time the middle portion of the defense of FEU. Over received by Gino. Durendes was right there to pick it up. Here comes Pons. Hit the antenna. And that's another point for La Salle. Lady Spiker is pulling away. Coach Shaq Dos Santos calls a timeout here. 12 for DLSU. Thank you, Natin. See Coach Shaq. Okay. Sige. Laila. Sige, Laila. Sige, palitan lang kayo. O, receive muna. Lalo, lalo yun. Receive yun na. Tapos, tsagayin natin. Napakahaba pa niyan. Tsagayin lang natin. Okay. We're looking at the biggest lead of La Salle over FEU. Eight points, Mosey, here in the third set. Very big, and uh, especially that La Salle needing only one more set to take this match and take it all the way to the finals. Eight uh, straight appearance if La Salle does make it through here. Para naman sa FEU. If they make it through, it's going to be the first finals appearance in season 71, which was seven years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, free ball for FBU. C. Malapanan is blocked. C. Goes to Pons. Oh, and Pons this time. Pumawe, ganun din. Drop ball. Kim D just a step late getting to that ball. And FEU makes some uh, adjustments here as uh, Kyle Negrito comes in to replace Giselle C. Five serving 12. Ooh, wow. That's been the story here in the third set, Mosey para sa FEU. That's right. Just uh, a lot of errors. Kung gano kaganda yung serving ng Lasal, ganun naman ka-erratic ang uh, serving ng FEU. Parang nawalan yes, ng uh, kumpiyansa. No? Yung confidence level ng FEU, very low in this uh, third set. Remy Palma. Pero Negrito sets up a good one for uh, Remy Palma. And let's remember, Negrito responsible for that FEU comeback in their last game against Lasal. Let's see if she can spark the Lady Tamaraus here because that's exactly what they need. Right now, down by seven. Uh, two, two straight points. Para sa FEU here. I thought Lasal was able to save that one, but the violation called, so FEU point. Well, kung gusto ng FEU mabal, ito na yung perfect timing for that. Hindi na kailangan wag na tumaas yung score, but uh, points is giving away point, a point. To uh, gives away a point to Delosai. Yeah, it's got to be painful to watch if you're an FEU fan and if you're Coach Shaq. I mean, you get two point runs, Delicino. but then again, you give away one point. And you can give away the body, but the pinaghirapan eh. Hit by Palma, picked up by Demisilio Galang off speed. Negrito will set it up to Palma again on the other side and check ball. Pero ang Lions judge sabi wala. And the first referee concurs, wala daw check ball. And Palma trying to argue her case. Let's take a look. May sinabitan pa na dalire yung bola, just like Palma was trying to say, Oh, yes! Kita-kita oh. meron. Clearly. Yeah. Without question. That was a check ball. So two, two calls that should have been four 
FEU going the other way in this match. Galang, block. Back to Galang. Negrito goes to Pasas. Through the block, yes! Chin Pasas. Malaba pa, getting it through the block. Kailangan hindi pa wala ng lobang FEU. And uh, yung mau, kailangan uti-utiin din nila. And uh, unlike the, yung sinabi po nga, they will get two points and then they will give away one. So parang kinutulungan ko rin eh, diba? Uh, let's see the service of Negrito. This has been the weakness of FEU. Serving. That's on the line, though. Nakabawi doon ang Lady Tamaraus with an ace. That was a good spot. Napakahirap naman din talaga for Don Pangandili. That, that dropped right on yeah. the line. And right behind her. Just right on oh. the line. Sobra. Napakahirap naman to read that. So Negrito trying to spark a run for the Lady Tamaraus. Another service error as uh, Lasal goes up by seven here. Uh, take a break, come back with more volleyball action right after these. Another look at uh, Vice Ganda, who, uh, along with the many FEU fans, na patahimik dito because uh, their team is down two sets. And here in the third set, Mozi, eh, lamang ng uh, pito ang Lasal, uh, former. Adamson players, Bang Pineda, watching the action here. And Kanina paalala na natin as uh, Fajardo gets an ace there, making it an, an eight-point lead for La Salle. And you, Tinalo Kanina ang Adamson in four sets and a uh, very unfortunate incident involving uh, Ramirez. Ramirez, Nico oh, Ramirez, injuring his shoulder. And an ace, back to back. Wow, back-to-back -back aces. Mozi para sa La Salle at a very crucial point in the third set. Now you can feel the yung confiance na sa La Salle side na and the uh, ser service aces so far. FEU with seven, but DLSU with 12 already. Uh, FEU with 10 service errors. Ang La Salle was able, ito yung pinansin ko kanina, was able to minimize theirs to only four so far. There's a kill by Heather Ginoo, but this is, they're staring at an eight point deficit here in the third set. And what's, what hurts more is the fact, as you see that uh, point, is that La Salle is just seven points away from winning the match. Ang hinahabol dito ng FPU is walo. Mika Reyes. Negritos right there. Underhand set. Para kay Ginoo. There's a net violation on uh, Mika Reyes, it seems. No argument from Reyes that time. Timeout time out by coach Ramil De Jesus this time. Uh, while he's up by seven, we'll listen into La Salle. Who's so trying to develop that killer instinct for La Salle? Yes. Aggressive tayo sa bola kahit ganun ang dating. I mean, he wants these girls to pounce on this opportunity and uh, wants to avoid what happened in the last meeting. That is right, partner. And uh, remember, ito na ito eh. Nandito na siya, malapit na siya. He's won seven points away. And uh, his uh, goal for the moment. And uh, ang FEU naman, ganyan lang lagi naman ang FEU, di ba? Laban lang ng laban. But, al at alam ni Coach Ramil yun. Kaya nga, napatimeout na rin siya. Galang off speed. Negrito. Basas is blocked. Palma sends it over to the other side. Pero hindi maka-adjust si Basas. Free ball sa Lasal. Here comes D. And oh, she scores! And D scoring it on the opposite side. Uh, how productive is Kim D today, Mozi? And uh, ang maganda ni Kim D. Yung porsyento wise, it's been uh, so effective in this match so far. 19 serving 11 right now. Ginoo. 
D again with a push. Free ball for LaSalle. Baron. Great floor defense by FEU. Here comes Pasas, cross court. Yes! And Pasas going cross court. Getting a point. So the, but they need a string of points to divide yeah. at this juncture. So. Yeah, they can. Pa isa -isa, oh, 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 three point oh, kulang. Oh, kulang. Basas, good serve. Baron, wow, and now the sun is really stepping on the throttle and going for the kill. And you know that, uh, and Silano, they know that this is the time to go for the kill. Hindi na pwedeng magbigay na kahit kapiran mo siguro na momento. Diba? Pabalik dito sa FEU. Seven points for Baron as Kalang with a service error. Kim D with nine points. Everybody just chipping in. Yun ang maganda sa game ngayon na ng Lasal. Lahat sila offense-wise the contribute, yeah. diba? Yeah. Lasal only needing five, yeah. make that only needing four points as FEU helping them out with these service errors, Mosey. That's right, and just too many errors, partner. Too many coming from FEU. And take a look at the bench of LaSalle. She's LC getting subbed by Negrito. And just their stance, you can tell that they can feel it slip away. Oh, and she throws that one away. Right now, you may say, that uh, this this hurts LaSalle, but these one point giveaways by uh, by uh, LaSalle, right now they can afford it. For FEU, I mean, they need every point. point. In fact, they need it. They need it. They need it. They need They need it. They need it. They go to Demesillo, Lady Spikers, Negrito, Pons. And check ball, point, Tamaraus. Tignan natin kung kaya pa tsagaan ng Lady Tams. Time out by LaSalle here, FEU within six. Huwag nyo antayin, mag-error yung kalaban nyo para manalo kayo. Hindi mag-error yung kalaban nyo, kayo yung nagawa ng puntos para manalo. Hindi pa pwedeng tatapon para manalo. Ay, hindi niyan nyo. Kailangan yung pagpaguran yun, puntos nyo. Hindi pa pwedeng magpupuntos yung kalaban para sa atin. Okay? Ano po sa kailangan? Ulit tayo mo yan, ha? And yun ulit, Coach uh, Ramil. Sabi niya, huling tayo mo ito. And same thing, panapos. Oh, oh. Killer instinct he, is what he's looking for. Kailangan talaga ma-develop nila yan. And the uh, former FEU players, when yan semana, and uh, alam mo, nakita ko kanina, ang dami pa yung mga older ones, ha, sila... Uh, Bilyarias, di ba? Maggie Kinnett. Tapos, alam mo, nakita ko rin. Alam mo, merong fan tong FEU eh, si Edshot. 37 years na siya partner fan ng FEU, wow. following FEU. That is just long para kay Pons. Uh, they're saying it landed on the line, pero it did seem from our angle, just an inch away from the back line. Ito, unti-unti na, na, na lumalapit ang uh, Lasal to match point, Mozi. It's Machoy, Baron! Well, uh, tayo, no, we kind of expected a long game. But uh, in the end, itong uh, Lasal, mukhang gusto nang tapusin eh. They've diba? got other plans. Yep. Free ball for FEU. Negrito. Pons. Block. Pons tries again. Pajardo tips it. Gets. No, it's just wide. Well, um... Wide on the dump. And Coach Ramil. Not happy with what's happening. Takatingin siya kay Kim Pajardo with a quizzical look on his face. Saying, ano nangyayari? Because wala na siyang timeout. He can't talk to the girls and they're committing errors here. At saka patapos na. Yun yung sinasabi niya kanina. Although it is still a six-point lead para sa Asal. Pero right now, FEU mounting a mini comeback, Mosey. That's right, and uh, Negrito with that one-handed set to Remy Palma. 
An answer to what's going on. Fajardo will be replaced by Esperanza. Cerveza will come in for D. FEU within five, the closest they've been in a while. Pons getting ready to serve. Para sa Lady Tamara also looking to extend this match to a fourth set. They're down two sets to nothing. Esperanza to Cerveza, she's blocked. Galang from the back row. Negrito sets it up. Basas. Oh, and uh, Basas on the tail end of the combination play. Lady Tamaraos making a comeback here within four. After being down by as much as nine. Good reception by Makandili. Here comes Demisilio. A set for Basas. Esperanza goes to Cerveza. Oh, great pickup. Basas again. Makandili is right there. Esperanza to Demisilio. That's oh. long. Oh. And Coach Ramil again. No more timeouts. And another adjustment for La Salas. Tiamzon comes in. Fajardo will come in. D will come in. Which has very effective in this match so far. Although ito na ang FEU, kumakatok-katok, mahabol-habol. Right? And giving something, giving the fans something to cheer about. FEU within three. Chance of FEU ringing inside Moa Arena. Jamzon, that is dug up. Basas. It's going to be a back row. No, free ball. Para sa FEU. Negrito. Palma. Makandili saves it. Underhand set para kay Tiamzon. Blocked. Makandili right there. No, that's oh, this double, double contact. Double touch. And the FEU fans all of a sudden come alive. As FEU. Give it up for dead, down by as much as nine. They are within two. Oh, wow. Tin Tiamzon comes out. Sit the Messinio. And the chance getting louder. FEU, FEU as Bourne serves. De Messinio. That's a check ball. De Messinio. Coach Ramil K. Sid Mesilio getting a point right away. That stops the run of MEU, pero they are within striking distance. 23 serving 20. Oh. De Mesilio with a service oh. error. And take a look at Coach Ramil, helpless right now without any more timeouts. Just a two point deficit. Magpapalit naman ang tao dito. Si Coach Shaq. As Giselle C is back, Janela is out. Giselle C. And Kino is in as well. This serve is going to be crucial for Giselle C and Lady Tamaraus. Galang against three blockers. She gets it. Oh, oh and she gets the spot. Alam mo, tatlo na ang binigay ng FEU Donado sa defense. Three blockers for Ara Gala. She finds but a way. Yeah, she finds a way. I mean, she's uh, a lot. And it's match point. DLSU 24 21. Oh, it's an ace. ace! Something and that Bala Sama used to perfection in this match. Ace. That is what finishes off FEU as well. Eliminating the Lady Tamaraos and sending the Lady Spikers to their eighth straight finals appearance. That's right, partner. And uh, finally, again, ah, alam mo kahit three setter siya, it was a hard, I know, fought game again. And uh, it was a hard win for Lasan. Ang daming scares, di ba, sa second yeah. set, sa third set. But, uh, nandun pa rin, nandun pa rin yung uh, killer instinct na sinasabi na kanina pa sa kanila ni Coach Lamin. And uh, kahit walang timeouts doon, nakakatawa rin kasi yeah. yung, mga, yung mga bata sa loob sila'y nag-a-adjust. And after all the stare-downs,
the trash talking. It's hugs all around. Oh yeah. From these athletes. Kasi naman yun talaga. It's just a part of the game. Obviously, a painful loss for Palma and the rest of the ladies spikers, but they'll learn from this. Pero they really gave it a fight. We knew that the Sal was going to come out strong in the day's game. And uh, sinubukan din naman ng FU to stop it. But uh, that's how it is a complete game of the day. A sweep by the ladies spikers of the uh, Lady Tavaraus after losing for the first time. 16 outings, the LSU comes back with a statement against FEU. And there is the outcome. We'll come back to wrap this up right after these. Back here at the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City, and there's the confirmation of the sweep by DLSU of FEU after losing in five sets in their last meeting. That's right, partner, and uh, Bumawi big time itong uh, Lasal, and now they're going into the finals and uh, meeting Atene once again for the end time. And uh, a lot of heroes from Lasal, partner. You have Reyes with 10 points, you had Galang with the same number, Kim D with 9 points. That's why, alam mo yung spread na pakaganda ito sa complete team effort dahil yan sa effort ng uh, napili nating uh, best player, and she is with Janine Choi. So Kim, during this game, the second set was the most crucial one for you guys. Ilang ulat kayo nagpalitan with FEU ng scores. Sabi mo naman sa amin kung bakit napatagal at napahaba yung set na yun. Ah, siguro, yun yun, minsan wala kami sa focus kasi sobrang dami rin nanonood. Pero, syempre, hindi kami papatalo and yung puso pa rin ng bawat isa na naik. And since you entered the UAAP, it's always been Lasal and Ateneo in the finals. Sabi mo naman sa amin, ano ang pwedeng asahan at i-expect ng mga manonood? Um, we can't promise anything naman, pero um, yung mapapromise ko lang po is yung gagawin namin yung best namin ngayong taon natin. Congratulations dahil sinabi mong babawi at babawi kayo, bumawi naman talaga kayo. At dahil doon, sino ang gusto mong batiin? Um, hi sa mami ko, hi daddy, and LGU Kalatagan, hello, Julia Saga, hello, and Sir Jerry OSD, hello, and good luck kay Ian, ay, Yayan Lariba sa Olympics. And there you have it, our player of the game, Kim Fajardo. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, uh, Janine, and congratulations to Kim Fajardo and the rest of the Lady Spikers yes. of the LSU Mosey. Grabe, 50 excellent sets oh, coming from her in three sets. Three sets lang. Three sets lamang, partner, and uh, six points with that. But uh, let's uh, also put her yeah. hats off to the seniors of uh, FEU, Remy Palma. Actually, well, like seniors at FAU, eh, no? Remy Palma, yep. I think, has one more year, but they played really great this season. And uh, sila, sila rin, expect them to bounce back next time. Lalo Definitely. na nga, si Giselle C. Lang, actually, ang aalis sa kanila. Uh, and these ladies will return to the finals for the eighth. The DLSU Lady Spikers finally put the FEU Lady Tamaraus in their rear view mirrors with an inspired, focused, and efficient straight set win to seal their eighth straight finals appearance and fifth straight year of duking out with Ateneo for the title. More importantly, this victory lifted a lot of pressure and doubts on the ability of the team to play their best when their backs are against the wall.